Today's a big day. Hey there, welcome back to Line the Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Today is a very big day today because we are getting our patio cover. This Everything's happening so quick. Juan has been like on the ball with like getting stuff done. And so we're having people come today to put up our patio cover. Juan's hoping to like film a time-lapse video. So hopefully we'll get that in today's vlog. And I'm inside with the kids <laughs> eating some pumpkin bread and listening to Frozen. Lovely. We got Juan outside with his, what I call a dad hat. He's doing some work. <laughs> and seeing him outside actually reminded me we got another change around here. Juan really wanted a flagpole, so we got one. So it's a 20 foot pole. We have the guy come out. I think the cement is like still totally firming up, but we got his army flag, the American flag. The pole is in the location that I originally wanted like a little L-shaped bench, but then Juan was saying like, we're having a patio cover, we're probably gonna sit under there anyways. And out of like all our front yard and the backyard, this was really like the most unique spot um, where like, you know, it's like a, it's a different shape and it's a good enough shape and then it's in our backyard. So like nothing's gonna, no one's gonna you know, steal our flags in the middle of the night or anything like that. So, uh, you know, I just thought that this would make a really good spot. And then like what we want to do or what I want to do is maybe put like red, white and blue flowers underneath or, you know, just make this a special little spot in our backyard. And, you know, it's really fun to like drive up to our house and like see the flags and stuff. Juan's very happy with it. His early birthday present, right? Yeah. yeah his early birthday present. So, um, Probably not what I would have chosen for a birthday present, but whatever makes him happy. Do that again. Go. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Go. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> okay, so the guy came for the patio cover, so they're about to get started with, you know, whatever that they need to do. Um, this little guy's skin, if you guys have been following me for a while, it's getting a lot better. I'm just trying to keep it moisturized and, um, hopefully he won't scratch himself. He keeps like, you know, just grabbing his skin cause it's like something fun to grab onto. I don't know. So right before I started filming, um, I had to call because we got some suspicious activity on my credit card last night. So that's the first time that's ever happened to me. So obviously I get really anxious about the phone calls. I don't know what to expect. Well, I finally, um, we called to cancel the card last night and then uh, this morning I called to like dispute the charges, but I guess they're not like fully posted yet, so I have to call again. But luckily it wasn't like too much money, but it just, you feel like violated when someone steals your information. Um, probably not as much as if they like broke into your house and stole stuff, but you know, I still feel like really just disappointed in humanity at times. <laughs> um, I'm just, you know, so I, I told Aubrey because we had to make the phone calls. I was like, you know, a bad choice stranger took money from us and blah, blah, blah. And I try to distinguish between good choice strangers and bad choice strangers when we have, you know, workers come to our house and, um, or like, I know, I know someone, but she doesn't, things like that. So anyways, uh, I'm excited to see what our patio cover looks like. Okay, so I gotta document this because this is funny. I'm really glad Juan is here because a lot of the times when we had projects before, he would like come home and be like, oh, they did this wrong or something like that. So he's here to supervise, but this is him supervising. <laughs> it's just so funny. And then we got his son here supervising too. Are they doing a good job, bubs? Yeah. We know you can shake your head now, so that's a good that's a good sign.
So it's been a while since I've checked in with you guys. I just kind of almost finished organizing our seasonal rotation toys. That will be a different video, so make sure you guys check that out. But my playroom is feeling much more spacious and organized and I just feel so much better about this situation. But I'm taking a break from this now and I'm gonna go check on how the patio cover's coming. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. I'm so excited for this. <gasps> Yay! Hey Juan, what are your thoughts on the patio cover so far? I'm not gonna look till it's done. <laughs> Come on. You can see stuff from this from mm -hmm. outside the door. Mm -hmm. We got a liar over here. Totally seeing what they're doing. The one sad thing is we're gonna definitely lose like the view from like if I'm standing at the island to see the donkeys and stuff like that. But overall, definitely having a patio cover is is needed where we're at. It's very sunny very hot and we definitely need that shade, especially when we're having people over, we're gonna have um, Aubrey's party like outside. And so it's just gonna be, it's, I'm so excited to be out there more often and use it. But right now I am making tacos for me. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out the video where I share how I make tacos, I will link it above. Um, I'm microwaving the taco and then I'm frying it just for like, a couple seconds and it just tastes so good so make sure to check out that video it was where uh, we were celebrating my brother's birthday and we reviewed like a really cool product in that video so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and yeah I, I don't know how much longer it's gonna be but they're making good progress I'm actually really surprised at how much has been done so far Right there. We can because they are real and they look like something else. And where do these ones go? Right next to them? Yeah, they go here. Where does these two go? They go here. So where does a western them go? So while Aubrey continues to play with her newly cleaned uh, playroom, I'm gonna go get Jack. He just woke up from like a three hour nap. So it was great that he slept that long. I was able to be pretty productive. Hi. Hi, Vilva. Good nap? Did you have a good nap? I love you. You are just too cute. Yes, you are. Let's see if we can see his swollen gums. Oh, yeah, Bubba. I think you're gonna get a tooth coming out soon. I think you're gonna get a tooth coming out. Yeah. You just took you out. Guys, I'm so excited. This looks so good. Are you excited too, Bubba? Are you excited too? As you can see, Aubrey 
loved discovering all the toys that I organized and she decided to bring them out here. So I'm gonna have fun later putting it all back. But while they are working on that, I am gonna try to take a little nap since Juan is still on paternity leave and I want my rest. So I'm gonna try my best to rest even with the noise, but that's what's gonna happen and I'll check in in a little bit to show you guys probably the end result. We are waiting on fans to be installed and lights and we had a hiccup earlier. I guess Home Depot gave us the wrong fans. We didn't notice till now. We got them like days ago. Um, so Juan had to run to the store and pick up um, different ones. So they'll get fans out there and I'm just, I don't know. I just, it feels like a different home now and it feels like so much better. But I'm gonna go rest because my time is um, dependent on when I'm needed to feed Jack. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll check in soon. So I'm sitting here feeding Jack. They are finishing up outside. They kind of like cleaned up the like patio and stuff. Um, right now there's a breeze, so we can't necessarily tell if our fans are worth the investment. But I really think like when it's like, you know, hot during the day and there's no breeze, it'll be nice to get some airflow. Hopefully we won't regret putting, you know, some fans on the patio cover. I think it will work out um or maybe we just needed different fans like like I mentioned I think before these weren't the fans that we originally wanted so that is a bummer but we'll see how that all works out bubba so for dinner tonight Jack is getting strawberry oatmeal I defrosted one of the cubes that I made in previous video and then I just mash up a strawberry or some type of fruit that has like juice he did like blueberry oatmeal at one point, but the oatmeal, when it defrosts, it's really thick, so it needs some type of liquid. So sometimes we do prune juice in there, sometimes my milk, um, but I kind of like mixing the fruit in. It gives it, you know, some more flavor, and he seems to like it, so I'm happy about this. Hopefully, with a big full tummy, you'll sleep through the night again, huh? You smile. Can you smirk? Because you know it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like a war zone over here. No. You already slapped the food. Yeah. You already slapped the food off the spoon once, dude. Not cool. Yeah, so we only got one night so far where he's like slept through the night or just didn't need me. But last night he woke up twice which made me pretty tired this morning. So I'm hoping things get a little bit better. I don't really mind waking up once in the middle of the night and it would just be better if I went to bed when he went to bed. <laughs> that would be the ideal because then I would get like as much sleep as I know my body needs. But typically I stay up too late and then I only get like two, three hour stretches or something, which makes me feel tired. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that funny? Is that funny? Are you being silly? <laughs> Are you being silly? <coughs> All right, they're done. Let's go check it out. As soon as I'm done with this last little bit.
Hey, Bubs. You like it outside? I'm really happy with just kind of how it feels underneath here. I'm excited to like decorate this for birthday parties and have gatherings here. I'm just, I'm happy that like our dream of the house is like coming, you know, from having just like a big dirt lot many months ago to what we have now. I'm just, I'm feeling very blessed, very happy to see, you know, Aubrey running around back here and having fun and just, I'm excited for what's to come in the years. And, um, you know, like I said, Aubrey's birthday is coming up. So we're definitely gonna be having her party out here. One thing that Juan pointed out uh, earlier was for us, the sun rises on this side, sets on the other side. So that means our shade pattern like totally, you know, goes from on, on the other side of the patio cover, underneath the patio cover, and then now it's over there. But, you know, what if we wanted to solve that problem for like evening gatherings or whatever, we can easily just get, let me see, we can get a shade where we can like pull it down or something and block the sun that way. Um, but I don't think we're going to be doing that anytime soon, but it is an idea to solve that problem. But honestly, like my parents, um, they use like their trees in the backyard and they have to know like where the shade is going to be at certain times of the day. And you know so we scoot, scoot a table over a couple feet every couple hours it's it's not going to be that big of a deal so it'll be exciting to see you know how everything turns out for her party and future gatherings but i'd like to thank you guys for following along today um seeing the big changes that have been made in our house and just being a really great audience i really love like the community of people here and I'm so blessed to have you guys watching my videos. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. I'd love to have you stick around and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.